Okay, so this is going to be a review of these two products right here. I'm going to show you these in a little more detail in a second. But these are the crank canvas. Uh, this one's the crankbait holder. This one was like for deep diving crankbaits and jerk baits, but I turned it into a plastic because I had so many plastics. Uh, so that that's what I turned it into. I put um, a bunch of plastics in there. Uh, so you'll see over here is what my my compartment looks like now. So I got my racks on the top, and then I've got all of my loose stuff that I couldn't fit anywhere else over here and then I got my Plano boxes that I still need over here but this all used to be this whole thing used to be Plano boxes and the problem is that you can't really like yeah the first couple you can see but you can't really see what you're doing so right there is actually how many Plano boxes I saved uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six Plano boxes. And that's not both of these. That's just my crankbaits. The plastics were on my racks and sitting in the bottom of the um, compartment. So that's how many I saved. And again, I don't have a before picture, but you don't even want to see the before. This was all, this was up to here with Plano boxes. And now I can see where everything is. Um, and then I'm going to show you a couple of the things. I wasn't sure about this at first uh, because especially with the crankbaits, a couple of hooks got caught and it was a little difficult to get them out, but I figured out a way to do it and it's really worked amazing. So I'm going to um, show you how this thing unrolls and how it rolls up and how easy it is uh, here in, in, in a second. So well, here, we'll just grab this. So here's the crankbait one. And the thing I like about this is you can see all of your crankbaits. And the only reason it's kind of uh, not going into form here is because it's cold out. Um, and so when it's cold out, they get a little stiff. The plastic gets a little stiff. So, um, But I'm going to show you how I do this so that all of these baits stay in there. They come right out, they go back in. And then I'll unroll it and roll it up for you so you can see how easy this thing actually is. Well, here, we'll zoom it out. And I'll just show you. It's really easy. So when you take it out, you grab your bait, right? And you got your hooks. So if you just try and jam it in, right? And you just try and jam it in like this and you don't pay attention, it can get pretty messed up. So what you do is you just take, this is what I found. I take the treble hooks. And I just do this. I tuck them so they're like that. Now you could put hook protectors on there, but all I do is just tuck the hooks so they're just like that. Okay, and then when you put them in, you just put them in, you keep the hooks just like that on the bottom of the bait, and they will never go into the plastic. Now, uh, rolling it up. Rolling it up, it just takes a second. You just gotta take a little bit of care, and you wanna get this first row nice and nice and tight here and then you just kind of push down each preceding row like that and then as you get further up it gets easier and easier and then you just roll that sucker up like that now this is I mean that's how easy it is done now to undo it you just take this let's say you want to change baits you're out on the lake okay I need uh, my deep diving rapala I got it right here, or I need uh, my surface bait right here, uh, and I got my popper in here too. Um, so you can see everything, and that's what I like about it. Um, and then it's, it just takes a second to roll up, so then it's out of your way. Or, I mean, if you're fishing by yourself, you can leave it unrolled. It ain't going to go nowhere. You just got to remember when you get under power to, uh, to uh, you know, bring it back up or it's going to fly off the deck but there's one two three four so there's 60 pack pockets and I've only got two that are not taken so I got 58 baits in here and again I showed you 
I got six Plano boxes out of my boat, which for me was great. It worked great, and you see how easy this is it takes. Even in a tournament, you're not gonna lose any money with this. And then it goes right back in there, done. Now, the plastics, same way. Now, I don't know how many bags of plastic. I got two bags of plastics in each pouch. Um, so I left this pouch open just in case. I think I left this pouch, I left like two or three of them open, um, just, just in case. Um, now, the most important thing with this is that when you do the plastics, when I first did it, I just put the plastics in there and I couldn't even roll the thing up. It wouldn't roll up at all. The only reason was I didn't get the air out of the plastics. So you open up the bags, squeeze them down and just roll them and then close them. Now, see that? You've got all the air out of that bag. Now, when you go to put it in here, hold it like that so I can see what it is. When you put that in there, it's in there. It's the same way as the crankbait. Just take your time on that first one, roll it up, keep that front lip of the next packet down, and watch how nice and tidy this is. Boom. Now look at that. Now, again, you open up your, your deck right in there. And you can see, I mean, that's about as nice and tidy as you can get. So I've probably got 30 bags of plastics or more in here, and I've got 60 crankbaits in here. And that's where that's how far much that's how much space it takes up. It allowed me all of this extra room. And again, there's the Plano boxes I saved. I actually put, I use these now for uh, other stuff, like for my drill bits. So I have an organizational. So that's a little bit of uh, on the uh, crank canvas. So if you, if you just take a little bit of care and the only thing I notice is if you just put the baits into the plastic, the hook will get into that plastic and it will be pretty hard to get out uh, and you can ruin the pocket but if you just take a little care with all of the baits and like I showed you you tuck the hook up and I'll show you again on this on this crankbait here so you just want to make sure that the treble hooks are nice and tightly tucked under the bait when you put it in so there you go you just do that and when you put it in the pouch, you'll have no problems. Uh, it's been a great uh, addition to my boat. I love it, and even on the water, uh, maybe I'll do some on the water stuff so you can see how easy it is to get a bait out of there, but it takes seconds. And you know, in a tournament, you don't wanna be, well, first of all, you don't wanna be retiring really at all, but if you need to, it really speeds things up and it makes things really organized. So, a little quick review on the crank canvas. Um, I think you can get, uh, I think their web website is crankcanvas.com. I'll put that up. I'll make sure I get the right uh, right link for them. Uh, and I'll put it down in the description. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been a great product. I recommend it. I'm probably going to get more because I could fit more of those plastics that I have in my loose side. And that's it. So we'll see you on the water. Take it easy and thanks for watching.